Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aries for their highest and greatest good. Also, if you're dealing with a Libra, you have Libra in your chart, or you just feel called to check out that reading, go ahead. You came out very strong in their reading. All right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Aries, please. All right, overall messages, the page of wands. Ooh, communication, taking action. You are dealing with somebody who may have Virgo Gemini in their chart, but you have to be careful. This is somebody who's can can be a little bit of a trickster. Now they're viewing you, Aries, as the Knight of Wands. <laughs> All right. What you don't see is the Four of Cups. This person's about to open up to you emotionally. And we see the Ace of Cups. A lot of you, you may have a new beginning. So with this trickster energy of the Magician in Reverse, it could just indicate that they have these secret feelings or they weren't completely honest with you about what they wanted, how they were feeling. So we see the King of Wands. Wow, we have the Page, the Knight, and the King. We're only missing the Queen here, right? Woo, all right, so lots of fire. Some of you are dealing with a Leo Sag or another Aries or someone with strong fire placements. Some of you, you are manifesting this new beginning. But let's see, is it with this person or not? But they are gonna open up to you, so let's see. Page of Wands tells me you've got communication coming in. This person wants to take action towards you. Ooh, we get two cards. Eight of Wands in reverse and the Magician in the upright. Yeah, some of you, maybe this connection was put on hold. Um, somebody might be feeling a little bit defensive here, but this person's going to take action. They're going to communicate. Let's see what's going on. Why are they in the Magician in reverse? Two of Wands. Yeah, they're making that decision. They want to move forward. They're just trying to figure out what to say, how to do it. And... The Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh, some of you, Aries, this person might have a choice in love. Now, I don't feel like, I, I'm not getting that energy off of this person as in like they have you in a third party situation. Maybe some of, maybe that's the case for some of you. But more so, I feel like this is somebody that may have a lot of options. And I feel this Queen of Cups could be an ex. They're viewing you as the Knight, the knight of Wands. Fiery, passionate. See, they see you as the emperor. Oh, they see you as their divine masculine ace of swords. They're going to communicate. They want to reconcile or they want a new beginning. This queen of cups energy tells me your person, you know, this is like, they might be feeling a little bit jealous. They've definitely been secretive. It can be a little bit of manipulative energy. All right. So I just want you to be aware of that. I do feel like this person, maybe they've got some Scorpio in their chart. Maybe doesn't have to be necessarily, but they're definitely like, they're definitely a little bit manipulative here, trying to get what they want. And what they want, Aries, is you. Okay, they're just trying to figure out how to do that. They, they see you as their emperor. They see you as wildly sexy, attractive, magnetic. This person's manifesting you, trying to figure that out, but it's like there's that there's a little bit of an energy there of emotional manipulation. So for some of you, for example, this person might have really pulled back in hopes that you would chase them. All right, let's see. This Four of Cups tells me they are going to come in with an offer. We've got the Four of Swords. Yep, they've been they've been quiet. They've been holding back, but they can't any longer. All right, they really can't do that anymore. And the Nine of Pentacles, they're going to come in and give. They want to share what they've worked for with you, Aries. They, they, they're they sick of either being single or they don't want you to be single. They have a lot. I feel this person is somebody who does have a lot. Um, I'm also getting to this person could be quite successful with this King of Wands energy. Um, they could be quite successful. And I, I kind of feel this person might have had a tough time in love with people coming towards them who were false. So they might have like a series of little tests is what I'm getting um, to see if you're the real deal or not. And I feel like I, I feel like you've passed that test. All right. We've got the Ace of Cups. You have a new beginning in love here. 
This person wants you, Aries. Temperance energy. Spirit's telling you not to rush in. Okay, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Um, Aries, if you've been really in your head about this connection, I feel like Spirit's saying, you know what? Don't worry. You know, worry doesn't change an outcome here. This person is going to reach out. The Six of Cups energy in reverse. This person may be grieving. Maybe you're a little bit disappointed here because I kind of get this energy of like everything was really going great. And then this person, I don't know if their energy shifted or they pulled back. I'm telling you, for some of you, it was because they have other options, but I feel like they're eliminating those other options. That's if you were casually dating, okay? Like if you were, you know, casually dating. And for some of you, though, I feel this person pulled back because they wanted to kind of test you, Aries. Um, I know that's a bit of a frustrating energy, but I do feel that this person has a lot to offer or they feel like they have a lot to lose, maybe because they've they've lost in the past or they've they've been used in the past is what I'm getting. So again, it's it's going to be up to you what you decide. They see you as their emperor. They see you as very strong, sexy, courageous, and also somebody who will tell them off. And they also see that you don't have a problem, you know, getting any attention from others. But I feel like that's what they like about you. Because truthfully, I'm getting more of an energy of this person liking your strength, feeling like you're a really good match for them because I'm picking up on they're quite powerful too but you do want to be careful because I do feel they can be a little bit manipulative and I feel that's trying to you know test te give you like small tests or see how much you really like them and we see health conscious so this person I feel is quite they take care of their body this is somebody who most likely works out they pay a lot of attention to what they put into their body yeah see this person's very sexy they get a lot of attention, I'm telling you. But this person's also really supportive. And when they give, they give their all. And that's why I feel they're a little bit in that manipulative energy just to see if you're the real deal or not, Aries. And this could be you or it could be them having dark hair and eyes. I'm, I, I, to be honest, I'm not as put off by that manipulative energy as I was early on in the reading. Um, and like I said, for some of you, they, they do have a choice between you and someone else, but they're choosing you, Aries. And of course, you know, no good reader is going to recommend you go back to somebody who's dogging you or somebody who's doing you dirty or, you know, keeping you in a third party situation. But I feel for those of you, this might be a casual situation and really it, it came down between you and someone else and they're making their choice. They want Aries. All right. So spirit saying medicine. All right, nice. So very supported by ancestral energy. Um, but I also feel too, there's if there's been a fight or an argument between this person, um, they, they've decided they want to turn things around. So it's up to you whether or not you want to heal things if it's somebody you're dealing with already. You are going to get the truth. This person's ready to take off their mask and be real with you. And I feel they may not have always been completely real with you there, but they're going to tell you how they're feeling and transformation. So a lot of you, this is a rebirth. Um, and for some of you, they want to take this from something casual where maybe you have options, they have options to something much more committed. All right. So, hmm. all right, Aries, you've got this person. They're coming in, taking action. I love all this fire energy here for you. All right, let's see what spirit would like you to know about this connection. What else do my Aries need to know? Ooh, Aries, some of you, this is your twin flame, a divine counterpart connection. They definitely see you that way. And support. See, we get supportive and support. Lean on your inner circle. See, I feel Aries, this is like this person's ride or die. And that's why they are a little bit emotionally manipulative there. Like they are not going to just give to anyone. And for a lot of you, this person has a lot to offer. They have a lot to give. But I also feel like they're, you know, I, I just feel like they, they've been burned in the past. So they just want to make sure that, you know, that you're the real deal here. All right. And we get friendship. Some of you, yeah, some of you. The, see, this is kind of the energy I'm getting. Like, they're, some of you, they're looking for not just, like, a lover, not just, like, a husband or a wife. They're looking for someone who's got it all. Like, their best friend, their lover, you know, their long-term person. Some of you, it's friendship. It's a friendship that's transforming. 
Um, and for others of you, it may have gotten like it was going really well. And then I feel like this person kind of pulled back to see, you know, is it more than just the physical connection? Wow. And we get soulmate. So some of my Aries, there's a choice here, whether it's your choice or theirs, because when I get twin flame and soulmate energy, it always tells me that there might be a karmic part, like third party involved. It's not going to be for all of you. More so, this card says your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. If you can say yes, that this person loves you or, you know, at least cares very deeply for you at this point in time, if it's a newer connection, accepts you and respects you unconditionally. If you can answer yes to all of those questions, that's a huge green light, a huge green light. And I, I actually see something really beautiful developing here for my dear Aries. All right. So choose wisely. Make sure you have all the facts, all the information. Be authentic. Make sure that you have these this heart to heart conversation there. It's coming. It's coming. This person is choosing you and I feel they're going to let you know. But ultimately, the decision is yours, right? So choose wisely, Aries. I'm going to leave it here. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can look at you can look at, at ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards that I'm using. The reason I just slipped up there is because when I looked at the clock, it said 1111. That kind of threw me off there. All right, Aries, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want to. Take care.